So, Susan B. Anthony List v. Dry House. Somebody just recommended that to me as a case supporting the notion that the courts have held that politicians can lie. I don't think this person actually read the case. The case was about a statute. I think it was an Ohio statute. Where if you made a false statement about a candidate's voting record and disseminated it knowingly, false statement and disseminated it, then they would or they could take it to a commission who would determine whether or not by clear and convincing evidence you had, in fact, violated uh, that particular policy or statute. If you had violated the statute, then, or if they believed you had, then they could uh, send it to a county prosecutor who would presumably look at it and determine whether or not to bring an action in court against you. So what the suit was is the Susan B. Anthony list. Um, they're a anti-abortion advocacy group. Uh, they don't like the ACA, the Affordable Care Act, Obamacare, as it were. And they were dry house, I believe, uh, voted for the ACA. And so the Susan B. Anthony list wanted to put up a billboard that said that dry house was, um, he voted for abortions. And one could make the argument that that is untrue. And one could also make the argument that that is true. He didn't specifically vote for abortions, he voted for the ACA, but the ACA also funds abortions. So what did he do? You know? So the dry house, I, I may be mispronouncing his name because I'm obviously not looking at it. I'm sitting in my car. Um, he, he didn't want the uh, billboard put up. So he threatened legal action against the billboard company. And then uh, it was referred to this uh, committee and while the committee was looking at it, they had 10 days to look at it and discovery was going on and all that fun stuff. The Susan B. Anthony list was like, screw it. We think this is going to chill speech. We don't like this particular, we don't like this particular statute. We're going to, we're going to bring a claim in federal court and the federal court and the federal court of appeals held that it wasn't right. You don't, you don't have, you haven't been actually affected by it yet. You don't get to, you don't get to to bring this in federal court. It's not a, it's not a federal issue or whatever, but, but that's what the holding was by the sixth circuit court of appeals. And so the Supreme court granted certiorari and the Supreme court said, no, there is a claim. The threat of future enforcement exists now. And then they kicked it back to the sixth circuit court of appeals for to be dealt with according to that holding. Nowhere in there does it say that uh, that politicians can lie. Nowhere. What it does say is that uh, the Susan B. Anthony list doesn't plan online. But if anybody thinks they are lying, then all of a sudden they have they have this. I mean, it could be imposed against them just because someone thinks that they're lying. So it's it's an actionable thing. It's it's something that the that the Sixth Circuit Court of Appeals should be looking at. They should be doing a, an analysis, a constitutional analysis of it, of the statute. If there are sufficient safeguards in there to prevent that statute from chilling actual free speech. Because you can, you can actually, um, like defamatory speech is not protected speech. That's why you can sue people for defamation. States can also pass laws against against defamation. So it's not protected speech under the First Amendment. But the question becomes, will this statute chill free speech? Um, and, and there was language in there saying, you know, in, in the course of debate, errors might come in. 
somebody may misspeak. They might not be intending to lie, but they may misstate something or misremember something without any intention of telling a lie. And they may be caught up by this statue because of that. So they didn't say that politicians can lie. Um, to the best of my knowledge, nowhere is it stated that politicians can lie. So, yeah, um, I believe that there are some protections for politicians. Like when they're uh, speaking in the Senate or speaking at the House, if they make statements there, there are protections against them. They have absolute immunity for things that they say, I believe, I believe um, in general in those. But but. Advertising, advertising specifically is a uh, is a lower level of speech generally, but political speech is a higher level. So I don't know entirely which way that one would flop. But at the end of the day, the Supreme Court did not say that politicians can lie. So there you go. Thanks for watching. And I think the guy's name was Sawmill or Smith. I could be wrong. The the commenter, because again, I'm looking at cars going by on the freeway, not looking at the comment. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.